Jay, Twin Tuesday is gonna be rough for you, dude. Twin Tuesday coaching. Jay is my boy. Don't you start bullying my people. Hey, it's gonna I be swear. rough for you, dude. Guys, keep them up, keep them up. All right, so it's gonna be this. We go on a test drive, okay? 2018 Nissan Maxima. Okay. Okay? 30,000 miles. I'm just kind of building it up. Doesn't matter what it is. Okay. But it doesn't have a sunroof. Okay. I really wanted a sunroof. Evan's like, hey, Andy, look, let's do the deal, right? And I'm like, look, I don't want to settle without getting all the features I want. Andy, you don't look like a guy that would settle. You got the most beautiful wife in the world. You literally have the most perfect family. Look, Andy, by the way, before we even get to it, look, I just want to tell you how much I just think you guys are marriage millionaires. The way that I see you with your family and kids, it's freaking awesome. Now, the one thing that I know about meeting you and your wife is that your budget is very important to you. Am I right? Yeah. Look, your wife, I know she makes the decisions financially, and she would want you to actually have two more thousand dollars in the bank, wouldn't she? Right? Right, Andy? Sure. She'd want you to. You got to pay for this nice little belt and these nice little cute shoes you got on look she needs you to have the money in the bank let's make you the freaking hero so when you go back home not only did you get a nice car that fits all the other needs for the kids and for her but you got a nice freaking car andy let's make the deal right now come on baby come on come on andy look okay come on all right all right bring him in bring him in guys everybody do me a favor write down one word charisma do you guys notice charisma oh can you guys see the sizzle on the steak Okay, I wanna make sure you see it, okay? Listen to me, there's a lot of people in this world that came from nothing, that learned how to bake some sizzle on some steak. They learned charisma and they became dangerous. Yeah, got me. Okay, all right, you ready? Yeah. Wait, did I just hit you or your brother? I don't know. Okay, uh, all right. I don't half the time you can't figure it out, we just run circles around right. in the office. Listen, we're, hey, we're Andy. Hey, hey, Andy. Allows, hey Andy, hey Andy, hey Andy, hey Andy. Come on, we got a dealer hey. call, we got a dealer call. Hey. Hey. What are you gonna do, what are you gonna but do? But hold on, can I ask this? When you guys are watching this right now, you guys are like, you guys, this is silly. No, no, this is how winning's done. Yep. This is how we work all day long. This is how we win. Think about how many people are sitting in the cubicle at, at, at the dealership, just sitting down, sitting on their hands. It's slow. You think it's slow in these guys' head all day long? Mm. No, nah, man, these guys are constantly on the spin, <clears throat> constantly on the hunt, right? You gotta understand that, okay? Watch the way other people work and think, man, I can say one thing, all right? Maybe we're not built the same, but those guys never stop hunting, okay? And to me, that's something that I need to learn and that's something that I need to take, okay? Remember, you're not a second-rated version of anybody. You're a first-rated version of yourself, but you steal the things that you know that you need from other people. Confidence, conviction, believability, charisma. You see any lackage or shortage of that here? No, okay? So even if what they say in words is wrong, the enthusiasm is enough to still push through on the deal most of the times and still make it happen, okay? So, all right, so this is gonna be, me and you going to test drive. We're going to test drive, okay? okay. 2018 Nissan Maxima, okay. okay? We drive the car, Perfect. I ask for one with the Perfect. sunroof. You don't have Love one. Love it. We ask, I'm like, hey, you're like, uh, or, I, or you ask me, you're like, hey Andy, if I can get the deal right, would you be happy to take it home? Done. And I say, hey Ian, I don't You gonna wanna... let that hair go in the sunroof? Yeah. Is it like flat? <laughs> yeah. yeah, hey, see? Come on, see? come on, Always Andy, let it go. Hey, let me ask you. Hold on, and I said, I don't wanna settle yeah. without getting all the options. Hey, I completely understand. Let me ask you, how much is that sunroof worth, worth to you? Is it worth three to 4,000 in a loan? Look, putting a sunroof in a car costs two to three grand. Adding a sunroof into the MSRP typically costs around the same. If you paid interest over the term of a loan for that sunroof, and it cost you three to four grand to not have any hair, but to, you know, not let it flow in the wind. Would that three to four grand matter more to you or would the future matter more to you? Now I'm certain that you'd probably say the money would matter more to you, right? Yeah, but I like the sun. Yeah, I, I completely understand. Do you like it more than you like the three to four thousand bucks? I mean, cause Andy, at the end of the day, what I found is sunroofs can be leaky. They can be a little bit hard to maintain. Look, you could be driving down the street, something happens to it, it kind of creates problems. 90% of cars aren't built without sunroofs for a certain reason. And I'm not saying that there's not a better way that they're not nice, they are nice, but would that matter more to you about the three to 4,000 bucks? Or would it matter more to you, you know, for the sunroof? Look, you don't have a sunroof now. You're completely happy. You're driving down the street. You have the most beautiful wife in the world. So number one, I can already tell that you make good choices. Make a good choice today, and I'd say just go with this vehicle right here. What do you think? Okay. All right. Hold on. Mine. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a show of hands. Yes. I'm gonna need a show of hands here, right? Okay. We're gonna vote Evan number one. You gotta raise your hand, guys. Okay. Evan is. Corinna's one. voting for me. Hey, he's the guy who went first. Don't put Corinna in the middle of this. She's too. Ian nice. went second. All right. Evan, show a hand. Come on, guys. Up. Come on, baby. Come on, guys. Oh, yes. Let's go. Yeah, All right, keep on. them up, baby. Count. Let's go. Keep them up. Okay. 
Jay, Twin Tuesday is gonna be rough for you, dude. Tuesday coaching. Jay is my boy. Don't you start bullying my people. Hey, it's gonna I be swear. rough for you. Dude. Guys, keep them up. Keep them up. Hold on. Keep them up. We, Mama's count. We got about almost done. Hold on. You gotta keep my up. glasses. Tell me. Remember, We're almost done. I can count here. I got everybody lunch, dinner at Top Golf later on. Okay, everybody. Oh, see that. And if I review the film and you come to Top Golf and eat all the free chicken wings, Guys, and shit, don't I'm let him fit. tell you. Okay. Okay. Who won? Oh, yeah, baby. On, Let's go. Jeez. Guys, stop Jackie, voting who's for nice guys? for you in the office? Jackie, stop voting for a about these things. Jackie, here be we thinking go. thinking about these things. Listen, so here's the be deal. There's a couple nice different ways. You guys, I want to talk about this because it's important to teach us. There's a couple different ways to handle. I don't want to settle without getting the features I want, but I'm sure that's something you hear all the time. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, let me explain to you so you can make sure you understand what they're saying here. I notice they keep talking about would you rather have that item or a couple more grand cash in your bank account? You hear that? Keep being said. Okay, let's say he comes in, he says he wants a sunroof, right? And I'm sitting here with him and I'm like, hey, I totally get it, look, man. However, I like what Ian said. Ian said, look, man, there's a reason why they made 90% of these without sunroofs, okay? Look, the reason why is because sunroofs are cool in the beginning, they're fun, right? Look, mopeds are fun to ride the first couple of times. Uh, <laughs> but after a while, they get old, they start to have problems. Look, there's 15,000 working pieces on the machine. 15,000 working pieces on this car. One of the most dangerous and, and comical, pe uh, or, uh, comical, that's funny, um, common uh, pieces to go out is a sunroof. And when a sunroof goes out, it always takes a couple days in the shop and the warranties on them aren't that long when they're new. Your powertrain warranty on your motor and your sunroof mm. are two different warranties, okay? So you don't have the long warranty you think you have because you think your whole car's covered. Your sunroof's really not covered that long on a vehicle. Mm. So if it was to go out, it's a couple days in the shop plus a couple grand to repair. And when you hear that couple grand to repair, you say, whoa, wait a minute. Yes, a couple grand. Also, it costs a couple grand to buy. So if your payment was $60 higher with the sunroof, plus at some point in the next three years, you're gonna have to replace it and come out of pocket three grand, you probably understand why 90% of the people don't choose a sunroof, right? So why don't we just roll the windows down and choose the one we got, right? <laughs> yeah. That's a shift, yeah. you feel me? That's what they were talking about. When they said, look, what would you rather have, a couple grand in your bank account or a sunroof? Listen, a sunroof's gonna cost a couple grand. So if you choose the car without a sunroof, you get everything you want and you'll save a couple grand you didn't have to spend. Does yeah. that make sense? Yep. Okay, plus future money that you're not even considering you're gonna have to spend down the road when it breaks. So not only did I save you the three, but I saved you the six. Mm. Congratulations on saving money. Guys, switch, 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 switch. Hey, I want a vehicle with navigation. I gotta have navigation. You do. Listen, it's 2022 now, folks. Look, 99% of the people in the world, it's a better GPS on their phone. Did you know cars, the GPS on there, they have to be updated every year. You know what? It costs money to update the car GPS. It does. Do you like that? Would you like to own something and every year you have to pay to upgrade the GPS? And what if there's a year where they say they can't upgrade it? There's a new highway put in. You're driving somewhere, but it doesn't show it. Your phone's always right, isn't it? So don't you think it'd be smarter to get the GPS you already have now, which is better and not pay to upgrade for navigation in your car every month? Guys, no navigation, no problem. Use your phone, let's save money. You see what I'm saying? Guys, listen to me. You have to give reasons and excuses why they should do it or why they shouldn't do it. What are you guys good at doing? Speaking. That's it. 